Ame Khan's first defense of his WBA light welterweight title will be against Dimitri Salita. Khan held news conferences in both Newcastle and London to promote the bout, which will take place on December the 5th. Khan thinks Salita, who is unbeaten in 31 pro fight, will be another great challenger to his crown. Yeah. Amir Khan's flown in from his L.A. training base for a whistle-stop tour to promote the first defense of his WBA light welterweight crown against Brooklyn's unbeaten hope, Dimitri Salita. We were granted exclusive access to spend a day with our young sporting star. I took a train from London to Newcastle, where Khan will tackle Salita on December the 5th. I'm going to make the time all mine. After interviews and photos were completed with the Northeast Press and the area's only ever world champion, Glenn McCrory, it was off for the midday train down south and a media call in the capital. Whilst on board, Amir gave me a revealing insight. Life's changed um, a lot really, you know, more people around the States want to see me fight. Um, the, I think the attention in the States is like, way so high now that people want to see me fight over there. Um, you get, I'm getting called out um, by big, big names uh, after big fights like Juan Diaz and them guys, they always have to mention Amir Khan. A quick catnap for the jet-lagged fighter before a dash from King's Cross to central London in the comfort of promoter Frank Warren's luxury car. More photographs and more questions to answer, especially for the interesting challenger. Dimitri Salit is a hero in New York's Orthodox Jewish community. I came to this country when I was nine years old from Odessa in Ukraine. Uh, at the age of 13, I uh, joined the Star City Boxing Club, one of the best gyms uh, in, in New York City, which is a hotbed for, for boxing stars. At the age of 14, I... Uh, I got involved with Chabad Labar, which is a Jewish religious outreach organization. And through them I started to become more observant and learn about uh, my roots. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> 13 years later, I'm giving interviews to Sky Sports in London, getting ready to fight for world title on December 5th. <laughs> it was an amazing day out in the hectic world of boxing promotion. I'm not going to forget this experience. Two press conferences one day, you know, that's, that's and traveling from one end of the country to another end of the country and then jumping on the plane and going back to LA so no, really you can say I'm traveling from one end of the world to the other end of the world you know so but it's an experience um, I like I won't like to do it again but um, it, it totally drains you and people think that I live the high life but you know what this is no high life this is this is tough I'm telling you if you there's not many people who, who, who cope with this Adam Smith Sky Sports from London to Newcastle to London and home.